Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, today we're making a beef Irish stew. Um, normally it's made with a beer, but we're gonna make it with some really nice wine. Um, we're just getting started. So far we're uh, searing up the meat a little bit, getting it ready. Got the onions ready. And um, I'll get back to you with the next one. All right, we're working on uh, the last uh, batch of meat. Pan searing it, um, getting it ready to rest while we get the onions, garlic, and everything else together. And then we put the beef back in. It smells amazing right now. And all I've got is butter, oil, and of course some chopped onion. We're about to chop the garlic. It's gonna get really savory in here in just a minute. All right, so we've come to one of my favorite parts. We start adding all the other ingredients. We've got the uh, garlic simmering. The onions have been pulled out. My family has a few sensitivities. So we've pulled the onions out and they're in a little satchel, a mesh satchel. And um, I'm gonna put that back in the pot to cook everything so that uh, we still get the amazing flavor. All right, my favorite wine to use with this recipe right now is the Menage a Trois Decadence Char uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. It's from California. We're gonna use a cup and a half because normally this is done with beer, which is a can of beer, which is 12 ounces. Um, put everything in the pot. Everything except potatoes and carrots. And I like to add celery. So I'm gonna be chopping some celery. I reduce the recipe by two carrots and one potato and add celery. And um, <clears throat> it's gonna cook like this for about one and a half to two hours. And then we're gonna come back, add the vegetables that we've chopped up. And it's gonna cook again for another 30 minutes. So generally my family eats around 5.30. So I start the cooking around 1.32 and it just comes out absolutely amazing. All right, it's starting to smell amazing in here. We've got the um, whole stew cooking. It's uh, cooked for an hour now. It smells just amazing. So I went ahead and chopped up the vegetables and um, those will be going in soon, in half an hour. And then we're going to be using parsley to garnish. We're gonna chop it up and sprinkle it on. And then, but before we finish, 15 minutes into the vegetable cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little slurry of water and two tablespoons of cornstarch so it can start to thicken up and <laughs> having a hard time watching um, the camera and not myself. Um, <laughs> I am not good at this and I will admit that. But, um, and I've got my green on since it is St. Patrick's Day. Um, so I'm just getting ready to really enjoy this wonderful stew. Um, it asks for a um, crunchy French loaf. Um, Right now we're all dealing with this, we're in this together. We go to the grocery store, we get what we can. So, and actually right now I'm on home isolation. So um, a few days ago I got what I could. Um, I'm considered immunocompromised. I have Crohn's disease. I'm on an immunosuppressor called Stellara. And I'm just staying home with my kiddos cooking and um, just kind of enjoying this right now. But um, just some um, little rolls of bread will do. It's what we could find today or the other day. And um, it's gonna be amazing. All right, here we are. We're ready to add the vegetables. I'm gonna set this down Real quick. We're gonna be Pulling out the uh, little satchel here, giving it a good, good, good squeeze. 
we want to make sure we don't take away all that flavor. I'm going to have to set my camera down so I can do this. And I'll just set it aside and then um, toss it out. Okay, so now we're ready to put the vegetables in. I just pulled out the, oops, dropping a few. Um, pulled out the satchel of um, onions. I'm just going to get them in there. We're going to cook for 15 minutes, add the starch, and then, oops, I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. Add the starch, and then cook for another 15 minutes. All right, so I've uh, added all the vegetables. I raised the temperature a little bit so that we can bring it back up to the simmer that it was doing before. We're gonna cover it back up for another 15 minutes and then we're gonna come back with the starch. What? Up. Aren't you cute? Up. Up, okay. All right, it's been 15 minutes. We're gonna remove the lid, the vegetables are halfway done we're going to add the slurry of cornstarch which this is two tablespoons of cornstarch and just enough water to really kind of dissolve it make sure it stays dissolved we're going to add it in slowly while still stirring you don't want to have it clump up you want it to help thicken your soup Nice and thin. Hey, what are we having? What do I smell? I smell spaghetti. All right, I'm just stirring it, making sure that the cornstarch really got in there. It doesn't clump up anywhere. And, um, it's going to help thicken this up. I'm going to put the timer on for another 15 minutes. And we should have stew very soon. All right, we're just going to cover it back up. Make sure that it's still simmering. If you need to adjust the temperature, raise the um, temperature so that you're still simmering. I'm covering it back up. I'm going to do the timer. Another 15 minutes. All right, so the timer has gone off. We're just about ready. I'm gonna remove the lid and just kind of let it um, simmer a little, little longer, reducing the heat, but also letting it just kind of thicken up even more. It is looking amazing. And um, I'm going to check the vegetables with a fork, make sure they're good and tender. We're here. It's time to plate up and it's looking great. You see the level has dropped down slightly. It's getting a little more uh, almost like a gravy. Not quite. The bubbles are looking a little thick so you can tell that it's definitely thickened up some and it's just it's looking amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and plate some up for us right now. Oh yeah. Get a little extra broth. That looks delicious. And then finish it off with a little fresh chopped parsley garnish. <laughs> 